Hello folks and welcome back to the 3D printer vlog. In the last episode or vlog, I was having issues with this particular lead screw that was, uh, yeah, it's just really wobbly. So the problem is, is that of course, this single uh, nut on this lead screw isn't really gripping enough and there's just a bit of play just because it's not perfectly machined. Of course, these nuts really can't be perfectly machined. So what you do is you get a second nut and of course you spring load force onto it, which is what I'm doing here right now, which of course makes both of these loose-ish screws tight by counteracting each other. But yep, this is a uh, anti-backlash nut, or at least a DIY solution. What will happen is either the bottom or the top piece will have two screws mounted to this little bracket here. And then two will go through to the other one and then be connected to the spring on the top. Now that we have everything figured out, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the test rig here. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, of course, break that down and install this solution onto our printer. Alrighty folks, so just going ahead and uh, taking off this guy here. In fact, what I should be doing, cause I will, this thing will wanna drop if I don't do anything about it. So I should go ahead and try to get some sort of thing to secure it. There we go. Just got some bongo ties. Gonna double loop them. Really what I should be able to do is just remove two of these bolts. So like I said, I'm only using two of uh, these bolts out of the four for our actual um, anti-backlash nut. Just taking those out right now. Gonna replace them with longer screws. Another thing that I've just uh, remembered here is that the higher you go on these shafts, sometimes what will happen is that uh, there'll be a little looser intolerance near the top. With spring and all, it'll be right at the top, which I don't want. If you remember back a few vlogs or episodes uh, previously, I installed these little spacers on the stepper motors here. So I think I'm gonna take those spacers off because I really don't need them, to be honest. I was afraid that the head would smack into them, but I think that was only if I had like dual extruders, which of course I 86 that idea. So I went ahead and uh, changed up the uh, way I'm doing this here. What I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see this here, but down here I have two nylock nuts. I'm gonna accompany them with another two nylock nuts for uh, all the actual nuts for these this Lee or anti-backlash nut. That's a lot of nuts! Here that's t attaching it to the frame as well as the uh, spring of the second nut here. The reason I'm doing that is so that the spring can move up and down and it won't, and of course any vibrations won't actually knock anything loose. And I'm using some extra long screws to attach this just because I'm gonna need them. I don't really have any intermediate sizes, unfortunately. And of course I'm gonna attach them, or attach these before I actually go ahead and attach the, uh, the actual lead screw itself. Make things a whole lot easier. You always start with the rear one. I'm just gonna be using my long needle nose pliers. All right, do apologize, my light. I did not realize my light was completely flat. So, yep, just getting this lock nut. It's gonna take a bit of time. Okay, I don't need the extra longs because there's no need for it, it's right there. Actually, I'm gonna switch hands real quick. This little screwdriver is not the most ergonomic thing. Making some progress. So there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Of course, I'm also going to be adjusting this once I have both sides installed so I can make sure that these are tensioned properly. Not gonna be able to get the most accurate reading while I have this up here. And of course, the other side is gonna be deconstructed too. So just gonna go ahead and wait for that part. All right, folks, I have both of the anti-backlash nuts installed here on the printer and they're working pretty well as far as I can tell now it's just up to actually recalibrating everything I got both these sides already calibrated now I just need to recalibrate the actual bed or calibrate it actually and of course like I said in the last video I already have a video detailing the actual bed leveling procedure so check that out in the top right and of course I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead past that since I already have a video for it and see you all in a bit 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what I've done to the printer here while off camera. I went ahead and flipped these here because they were the actual uh, nuts were reaching too close to the top and binding. So I went ahead and flipped them over. Another issue I'm running into is these uh, back braces that hold these wheels onto the uh, the actual frame that allows the axis to you know freely or they move up and down and still be solid and connected. Those are actually pretty loose. They aren't tensioned properly. And there's no way to really tension them properly without reprinting these brackets. So I have downloaded an improved bracket designed by somebody on Thingiverse. I'll link that in the description. So as you can see here, it's a little bit different. And of course has, it actually uses three wheels instead of four, which, uh, and of course this little bottom bit here, that's for an adjustment screw to basically adjust the angle of the actual third wheel there, allow it to be tensioned towards the actual frame. So big plus on that, gonna print off two of these bad boys here, which should take a while, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog here for the time being, uh, just to keep things brief for these episodes. And the next episode, we'll be installing these bad boys once they're done printing. And then we should be good to go with the Z axis and getting the bed leveled. And then at that point, we're just uh, doing some final calibrations with the actual, uh, hot end as well as the bed and I think that's really about it besides just a few minor other tweaks that I may either run into. All right folks I hope you all liked that video if you did go ahead and hit that like button consider subscribing and check out some other videos here as well and have a great day.